in his day, he had jet black curly hair and he had beautiful eyes, he had real chocolate brown eyes. We met in February and he asked me to marry him in the June and we were married the following February the 27th. As long as I was happy, he was happy. As long as I was talking, he wasn't happy. <laughs> <laughs> He'd say, Pauline, I've never watched a film in all my life without you talking through it. <laughs> we used to call him Dolo Six. <laughs> yeah, he loved his Bond films, yeah. He did indeed. He loved to iron on a Sunday. I didn't like ironing. And uh, he'd have his cup of coffee and he had his cigarettes. And he'd have his iron and he'd have Christy Moore in the background and he was happy. As, you know, Larry, he just ardent all day. He would say, when you're gone, you're gone. You're going to die of something. But I don't think he realised at 48, that's when he was going to go. I miss him. Kids miss him. And he would have made a lovely granddad. He would have. It was our first hot day away in Lasagna, and um, we were just relaxing. And he turned around and said, Yeah, I'm going to pack in. We'll sell the house. Boom was on. And he said he'd get a bit of driving work over there. He wouldn't have to do much. You're sitting on a beach one day making plans. He's 48, I'm 47. We're planning 50 birthdays, we're planning everything. And 20 to 1 that night, he died. He should be sitting here saying all the things he's going to do and we should be sitting in Lasagna at the moment on our retirement or planning all the things that we want to do, yeah. And he wouldn't like me to say that I was... He never thought I would be his voice because he was always having to shut up. And here I am talking for him, you know. He was, he was... He... He was good. He was.